Friends and fans of Anna Elk Moon, one of the Southwest's most celebrated potters, are gathering here outside of her home in Santa Vera to pay their respects. Elk Moon was found dead early this morning in her studio by her husband, Jack Gordon. The Santa Fe Mysteries are two very strong mystery strategy games. This is a game where story is paramount. Well, as with any good mystery, there's uh, any number of potential suspects. Anna was revered. She can rot in hell. There's no way that's true. She wasn't real popular, as I said. According say. to my sources. Who told you that? That's a crock. She got what she deserved. Internally, we came up with um, an idea that revolved around creating a mystery against a rich multicultural backdrop of Santa Fe, New Mexico. We haven't really seen that arena set in a television show or even really movies and certainly not in games. The player, instead of just reading a mystery, they are, they are able to actually participate. We see this as a cross between Tony Hillerman and Agatha Christie. A great mystery needs a great script. We were very fortunate to be able to work with Sam Egan, who is one of the senior writers, producers on Northern Exposure. Anytime we read a mystery novel or we go to a movie and watch a, a good mystery on the screen, I think we put ourselves in the shoes of the detective. Well, what interactive and the CD-ROM world allows you to do is actually make that conceit real. Placing you under arrest for the murder and the robbery of Anna Elkmoon. We paired him with Shannon Gilligan, who built her career on designing mystery games. This is a game that's going to let players um, really sink their teeth into character more. Probably the closest character set that exists anywhere in film or TV that I know of was on Northern Exposure. The player is uh, a rookie detective who basically um, is partnered with uh, John Nightsky, who's a Native American Indian detective. And with uh, John Nightsky's help, they are able to meet suspects. There's over 51 different characters, 150 different variable events in this, and you're basically creating um, a pathway through them to get to that ending and solve that crime. Amanda Donahoe plays Karen Gordon, who is the mistress of a pro casino developer. Oh, please, Mr. Nightsky, I do have my character flaws, but <laughs> masochism does not happen to be one of them. A lot about solving this game in the time that you have is making correct decisions and eliminating very interesting suspects. Our goal in, in creating a, a thrilling mystery game is to have the player on the edge of their seat. The tension just rises and rises. In order for the tension to get to that point, we knew we needed a ticking clock. The game criterion is the time limit. Ultimately, you can run out of time. As a detective, if you're not using your time effectively, then you're not going to solve the mystery. You've got a body on the ground and a killer out there and it's up to you to see that justice is done.